Hello dear students, let's continue with our previous topic that is the flying Sikh by Melka Singh. So in this lecture we will go further but before going back further uh, let's have a quick recap of the previous lecture. In the previous lecture we have discussed that Milka Singh bagged first prize at the national games uh, held in the Leeds National Stadium and there uh, he creates new records that was 100 meters in 10.4, 200 meters 20.8, 400 meters 46.1 and like this. So after this incident uh, or after this event, uh, Milka Singh and his team, they have been invited uh, by Pakistan government for indo Park sports meet and as we have talked about the background okay Milka Singh was unconscious he don't wanted to go back because there was a past uh, that he has lost his family home back in Pakistan at the time of partition but uh, after the interference of Pandit Nehru uh, he was sent as an ambassador and Milka Singh and his team they moved on to Pakistan now uh, let's continue our next paragraph at this event I was once again pitted against my old opponent Abdul Khalik whom I had defeated at the Tokyo Games now uh, he is there uh, the match it has been in, in the newly built uh, stadium, Gaddafi Stadium was there and he was uh, talking about the opponent and the opponent was Abdul Khalik. Okay, so he has to be there. Uh, he is pitted against, pitted against means in opposition to his old opponent that was Abdul Khalik and Milka Singh has defeated once Abdul Khalik in the Tokyo Games. So consequently the massive crowd's excitement levels were high as they eagerly waited for the moment when their hero would defeat me. In this mid too, the pattern of our victories were the same as the Tokyo. Now, the event gets started and there was massive crowd in the uh, that stadium and a lot of excitement level was there. Uh, very high excitement levels were there because uh, all uh, most of the audience there they were Pakistani and their hero Abdul Khalik was there who has been defeated previously by Milka Singh and all of them they were thinking that their hero will take revenge of the previous defeat and the match or the event started and as Milka Singh says that the result of their event <clears throat> the two uh, altogether there were three events 100 meters, 200 meters and 400 meters. So in this meet, the pattern was same as the first 100 meter running that has been owned by Abdul Khalik and 400 meter race that has been owned by Milka Singh. So both of them, they were equal. Now that's why the final that was 200 meter, it was a deciding one. And so the deciding race would be the 200 meters one and my teammates reassured me by saying that there was no way that I could lose. My technique was too finely honed and my timing was much better than the than one at Tokyo. Now his teammates, all uh, other <coughs> coach and members, so all they are motivating uh, Milka Singh uh, by telling all of his skills and all these honed means it is uh, sharpened. So all his skills and techniques that has been finely sharpened now and this time miss uh, for this 200 meters race he is far better than Abdul Khalik so he don't have to take any tension uh, and uh, he will definitely win that. But as usual on the day of the race I woke up feeling feverish and bilious. Now this was unconsciousness something was there and uh, as Milka Singh uh, woke up early in the morning, at that time he was feeling uh, he, he was feeling feverish. Feverish means there was a fever, and 
uh, also boilish means there was some sickness illness was there ill uh, natured he was and then also i was shivering either because i was unwell or by memories of those terrible days that still haunted me now this might be because of the unconsciousness the uh, the memories uh, that he was able to recapture from his childhood uh, at the time of partition when uh, he lost his uh, home and his family members so these uh, ideas were making him uh, more and more unconscious but instead of succumbing or feeling sorry for myself i forced myself to get up and go to the stadium but milka singh was something different he don't wanted to surrender okay succumbing means surrendering so he don't wanted to surrender and instead of feeling sorry for himself what he did he forced himself to get up and go to the stadium he um, he talked to himself you have to go because he said see as i said to myself over and over again i had to win because a defeat in pakistan would be a fate worse than death he says himself what he said that he has to win this battle anyhow over and over again whatever happens i don't have to bother about that and i have to own this match match because a defeat in pakistan would be a fate worse than death he thinks that if he get defeated so it is more painful than death and that's why he has to win this match at any cost so he cannot postpone he cannot think about uh, his unconsciousness the memories and all these things uh, which are there in his mind so let's move on the pakistanis had heard about me but only because i had defeated their hero 2 years ago in tokyo okay so the pakistani audience they were there excited and they have heard about milka singh but they haven't seen him running on the track and he says that they they, they just know they just uh, heard about him because of he has defeated their hero otherwise he would not have been known and so milka singh wanted that pakistanis should know him very well and they felt that the time had come for for khali to avenge his defeat while the two of us were going through our warm up exercises there were defeating sorry defining shouts from all the spectators long live pakistan long live abdul khali so all the seeds means uh, it was the last match last event was their last race of 200 meters and this was deciding one is yes, who win this either it would be uh, abdul khaliq or melka singh so anyone who uh, any of them who wins that the whole uh, what we can say the series would be his means whole uh, this event that would be captured by that that participant and that's why this was very important race and both of them uh, were doing their exercises and when they were doing their exercises there were defining defining means uh, it is uh, what we can say very loud okay very much loud was there and uh, shouts were there uh, from all the spectators because they were thinking now this was the time for abdul khaliq to defeat their old or his old uh, old enemy enemy means it is not enemy but an avenger his opponent that was milka singh and all of them they were shouting loudly long live pakistan long live abdul khaliq the entire audience kept cheering for him as he walked in before me followed by other pakistani athletes and makhan singh the only other indian besides me so it was the home ground for abdul khaliq and that's why all the audiences <clears throat> in the stadium they were the follower of abdul khaliq and everyone was cheering everyone was shouting everyone was this uh, talking a lot uh, the cheering was there enjoying and all these things all these cheering and all these things it was for abdul khaliq because that was his home ground and all the audiences were from his own country and with milka singh only makhan singh was there the only indian beside him okay so he was there miss he was feeling a bit lonely but he has to forget all of these things at the starting line i put down my bag warmed up and wiped the perspiration f- 
from my body with the towel. This, this was the beginning uh, routine when he goes to his starting line. He put down his bag there. And after that, he warmed up a little bit and had wiped up the perspiration. Yes, that is sweet. Okay. So he cleaned up his body uh, with his towel. And as we waited for the race to begin, a couple of molvids with following beards, skull caps, and carrying rosaries in their hands enriched Khalik. Okay. Now, this was a bit religious or what we can say superstitious ideologies or whatever it may be but when Khalik was there uh, beside to Milka Singh some of the Molvids came there having this their Molvids means with beards uh, the caps and uh, carrying rosaries in their hands this uh, the instruments or that uh, uh, which which is used to give blessings so they encircled Khalik all of them get rounded and they blessed him saying, may Allah be with you. Now, this was their blessing, this was their faith and they did this. And by watching all these, Milka Singh get irritated. Irritated by this blatant favoritism, I shouted Molvi Sahib, we too are the children of the same God. Don't we deserve the same blessings? Now, this was either, it was not any religious ideology, but being a player being a sportsman this this was a bit favoritism okay this uh, everyone <clears throat> see from the beginning itself all the audience uh, were uh, cheering up for Melka, uh, sorry abdul khalik and then this uh, blessing and all these things it was also for abdul khalik so it was a bit favoritism and so angrily melka singh uh, asked the maulvi sahib one of them or all of them that I am, we are also the children of the same God and don't we deserve the same blessings and after this all these uh, Molvis they get struck, dumb struck means they get shocked by listening to this and then one of them half-heartedly, half-heartedly means unwillingly, okay, he muttered may God strengthen your legs too. So in this way this was about the beginning of that match. So before the match get started so all these incidents that happen at the Gudafi stadium now there was pin drop silence as we stood at the starting line waiting for the race to begin both miss all these uh, participants they were on their starting line and pin drop silence was there the silence was oppressive it's completely silence nothing was uh, uh, is audible there and the starter okay uh, the starter is the person who start the race the starter dressed in a white shirt and trousers a red over all white peaked cap and black shoes stood on a table behind us <clears throat> so there was a starter behind them he was on the table wearing white shirt red trousers and uh, a white cap and black shoes so he describes uh, his that starter and he was there on behind them on the stool and he shouted on your marks so the race is going to be started and suddenly he fired the gun and the race began okay the audience suddenly awoke and began to chant pakistan jindabad abdul khali jindabad so this was the cheering up this was the, the these were the followers of Abdul Khalik, who was cheering for Pakistan and who were cheering for Abdul Khalik. <clears throat> Khalik was ahead of me, but I caught up before we had completed the first 100 meters. We were shoulder to shoulder. Then, surprisingly, Khalik seemed to slacken. Now, the race gets started and at the beginning, uh, Abdul Khalik, he was a bit ahead of Milka Singh. And suddenly Milka Singh also caught up his speed and both of them, they were shoulder to shoulder till 100 meters because this was the race for 200 meters. So for 50% of the race, they were shoulder to shoulder, means equally they were running. And after that, surprisingly, Khalik seemed to slacken and suddenly after 100 meters, what happened? Khalik 
leave, uh, Khalik was left behind a bit and I sulked ahead as if on the wings. And Khalik left behind and Milka Singh get forwarded. And it was like he has on wings. Miss, he was rapidly taken away. Miss, he was rapidly moved on uh, further ahead of uh, Abdul Khalik. And I finished the 200 meters about 10 yards ahead of Khalik, clocking 20.7 seconds that equaled the world record. Now, this was 200 meters. And in the last 10, <clears throat> last 100 meters, Milka Singh got off his speed and he was running as he has wings on him. This was like flying. Okay, the title also has been given to him. So he ran very fast and he left Khalik 10 yards behind. 10 yards means near about 9 meters. It is near about 30 feet behind. Miss Abdul Khalik was 30 feet behind of Milka Singh when he touched to the final uh, or finish line. So this was the difference between them. And with that difference, Milka Singh owned 200 meters. And that was also in 20.7 seconds. And this 20.7 seconds was the world record. Okay, so it was equal to that. My coach, Ranbir Singh, the manager, and all my team members leapt at their feet in jubilation. I was embarrassed, thumbed on the back, and then lifted on their shoulders as they expressed their happiness both vocally and physically. Miss all the team now. <clears throat> see, when this was the deciding match, and he owned this match with such a rapid uh, difference between them. And so his coach uh, and then all his team members, they started uh, their feet, miss, they leaped their feet, miss, they were jumping, they were enjoying, they were dancing a bit. Okay, and jubilation, jubilation, miss, it was celebration. So they were celebrating this with dance and all these things. And I was embarrassed. He was completely embarrassed, thumbs up, uh, then thumped on the back by other soldiers and he was lifted onto their soldiers and all of them they were enjoying this victory happiness hokali and physically hokali means with cheering up and also with dancing so in the both way all the members they were enjoying this match next it was indeed a joyful day for india but a terrible tragedy for pakistan khalik himself was so devastated that he lay on the ground weeping pitifully. I patted his back and tried to console him by saying that victory and defeat were part of the same game and should not be taken to heart. But he was too humiliated by the fact that he had been defeated before the eyes of his countrymen. Now, after the end of the, uh, this event, after the end of any race, what happens? Definitely there would be tragedy. And who wins? Then he would be happy and his party or the people, audience or his country, they will be happy. And definitely the person who get defeated. So that side would always be in uh, tragedy, painful would be there. So all this was happening and Khalik was weeping pitifully. Milka Singh goes to miss. This shows again uh, his uh, sportsmanship, uh, the abilities, qualities of a sportsmanship he goes to milk uh, abdul khalik and patted his back and tried to console him by saying victory and defeat are the two parts so if one get victory then automatically the other one has to receive the defeat so in this way he talked and khalik was also a bit uh, very uh, uh, miss he was weeping uh, because of uh, he had he get defeated in front of his own countrymen because the matches uh, it was there in the Pakistan itself. So after the race, I ran a victory lap of the stadium while loudspeaker announced. And after the end of the race, he ran victory lap. Victory lap means after getting, uh, after the victory, he uh, took up the Indian flag and he have a round of the stadium to express himself to the audience. So audience can see the, see him. And at the same time, there was an announcement on the loudspeakers. What was that? See, the athlete running before you is Milka Singh. He is not 
run he flies he, he does not run he flies this victory will be recorded in pakistan's sports history and we confer the title of flying sikh on him and it was general ayub khan who coined the title flying sikh okay when he was having his round after the victory so at that time there was an announcement and who was doing that announcement it was general ayub khayo uh, sorry ayub khan and he was announcing and he announced that the athlete running before you is milkha singh let's see the general is introducing milkha singh to the audience and he says he does not run but he flies and he also added that his victory will be recorded in pakistan's sports history and so pakistan is conferring the title flying sikh okay so this was the title of our this present text also the flying sikh so this title it has been given by general ayub khan to milkha singh okay so after that when he had congratulated me saying tum daude nahi ude ho you do not run but fly as i passed in front of the women section the ladies lifted their burkas from their faces so that they could have a closer look at me and when he goes to receive the prize at that time also ayub khan says tum daude nahi ude ho so in that words he was praised there and when he was passing there from the women section the ladies lifted their burkas from their faces so that they could have a closer look at him this this was something different and this incident means when milkha singh was passing so all the from that women section all the women they lifted their burkas means generally it is not done but they wanted to see who this uh, sportsman who means he was very faster and uh, the general ayub khan he has given him that title flying sikh means tum daude nahi ude ho so this was uh, the curiosity and they themselves has have experienced uh, his speed and all these things so automatically uh, the women in burkas they just lifted their burkas to see him and this was the incident that was widely reported reported in the pakistani press so this incident was reported by pakistani press also because it has not been happened previously before means never before it has happened and that's why it has been reported there so finally he says and so with this victory i became the flying sikh a title that soon become synonymous with my name all over the world so in this way milkha singh received the title and with this victory victory in the indo pak meet so he received that title flying sikh and this title it became synonym for him with in throughout the world means after this incident the title was used everywhere in the world so milkhas this title flying sikh when milkha singh was going somewhere he this flying sikh become his synonym means people were knowing him with the name the flying sikh okay so in this way we come to the end of our chapter so i think we will stop here uh after this uh, you will get summary of the text and then question bank and after that we will have unit test uh, no okay after second part we will take the unit test so till the time thank you so much be at home